The second week of the Falcon Games set off with volleyball on Friday, followed by a list of team games the next day. It was a sunny Saturday morning when all the teams gathered on the new outside pitch to play football and rugby. It's great, I mean it's a wonderful facility and it's a nice, beautiful day for it, so uh, it's good everyone being up here first thing in the morning and getting stuck into it. So I haven't personally been competing, but it's been good numbers watching and great numbers competing as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, the numbers yeah. are slightly up from what I've seen. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. No, and a good range of sports with everything, yeah, everyone helping out. Yeah, it's really good, it's really great to get out and to meet new people and try sports um, that, that you haven't played before or, you know, are definitely not in your forte. So it's a great competition and even uh, evenly matched teams, which is great. It's been fantastic, even though a few of our players have been injured, but I think uh, they're really determined and they're eager to participate. Uh, so we're just not going for the wins, we just want to have a good time, everyone participates and that's the spirit of the game. And this is my most favorite event in the Falkland Islands because you get to meet and make so many friends, so that's the whole idea. Get the community together and uh, one thing that is really great about the split is that there are 50% or more even that are you know, women participating. Also, if you look at the, the age groups, there are a lot of young people who are playing and there are a lot of people like me who are playing as well. Still going at it. <laughs> when the weather started to get gloomy, it was the time to get inside and play the last games of badminton, netball and basketball. It was a final stretch. Several members from different teams came out with some injuries and overall players started to feel exhausted with the back-to-back -back games. Oh, it's good, yeah. So we've had a few people off uh, with, with this flu that's going around and a couple of injuries and stuff, but everyone's been uh, putting their weight and uh, trying really hard, so it's been great, yeah. That's the, the best thing about these, sport, these uh, games are the kind of team spirit. Finally, all games were played and points were counted as all teams gathered in the Leisure Centre Hall to find out the final score and the winner. But at the end, here uh, like 50 people everyone probably in role to win but uh, in the end of the day it's uh, most about uh, getting new friends having fun for instance I met seven eight new people uh, in my team several other uh, people from other teams and that's uh, what uh, these games are all about I think it went really uh, great um, so a little bit relieved in one way that it's over but also sad because uh, People has really got it together. It's been a nice friendship build. That people uh, has been supporting one another. So now it's all sort of concluding. So uh, it's a little bit sad, but uh, yeah, it, it was really good, and uh, we look forward again to the next one as well. I mean, we have very successful teams to go to the Commonwealth Games, to the Island Games, and actually to have an opportunity to see it happen here on, in Stanley um, and see the people that make us proud internationally. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for the community to come together. I mean, very much so in a small society as this. I think it's a wonderful event. Um, also, the teams are sponsored by our companies, and so it's, it's an example, really, of the Falklands way. The Falcon Games are over, but they will come back next year to again get the community together.